In this video, I want to show you how I easily and inexpensively get the brassy yellow tones out of my hair. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button down below and let's get into the video. So I want to give you a quick overview of how I get my hair from this color to this color here. So to give you a little backstory on my hair, it is naturally dirty blonde. It's my root color right now. It's it looks a little darker than it is just because of the tone um, difference in my hair. So I get it professionally bleached and toned in a salon. I do not deal with any of that myself, so I do not know any of the answers on how they do it. Um, it usually takes for them to lift my hair, it really takes about 15 minutes for the bleach to actually work. My hair is not that dark and it just kind of just really doesn't take long for the hair to take it out. But toning it takes a little bit more of a process. They have to use a lot of the purple shampoos because I have a lot of brassy tones naturally in my hair. So that process takes a little bit longer. So to start the process, I actually just use dry hair and I'm gonna split it into a couple different sections just to make it easier for application. So I'm gonna split it from top to bottom and then do smaller chunks. Um, as you can see in this video, I'm gonna play a little bit of the process of putting in the purple shampoo to um, just getting it make sure it's really really saturated in every part of your hair even the root it doesn't really do much to it maybe it'll take out a little bit of a brassy tone if you have some but it's really not going to change the color or anything like that it's a shampoo so um, you really don't have to worry about that so the shampoo that i use is the shimmer lights shampoo blonde and silver i get this at sally's they also have it on amazon i have never bought it from Amazon. I usually just go down to my Sally's. This is around eight or nine dollars. Um, I usually have a coupon for them and they usually have uh, sales going on which makes them cheap. I think they're around twelve dollars um, and they do have a jumbo one um, but you can get a couple dollars off if you have a coupon. But this is the one that I like. It is very very purple. Um, it's not going to stain anything but it really just soaks in the hair. I have tried the Not Your Mother's purple shampoo and that really didn't do much for me. As you can see in the video, I am wearing gloves. I like this because it doesn't get up in my nails and make me have purple beds for a couple days. It's not going to stain you. I get it on my arms all the time in my, my face. You'll see that it's a shampoo. It's not going to uh, stain your skin. I'm sure if you left it on for a couple days or overnight, it might, but honestly, I've never had a problem. It gets on the back of my neck and on my ears and it just washes right off. So you really don't have to worry about staining. I just wear the gloves because I don't want it to get into my nail beds and make me kind of look purpley. So once you're done fully putting the purple shampoo in your hair, you don't have to like rub it in or make it all lathery. So when you're putting on your shower cap, um, just sort of put everything up. It doesn't have to be beautiful or anything like that. Just make sure it's in the shower cap um, and then make sure your hair is fully lined so that you don't have to worry about it. It's very potent. It smells like a shampoo with has a little bit more of a fragrance to it. If you're walking around and doing other things, you may get a whiff of it and other people will definitely smell it. Um, so just know that um, when you put the shower cap on, just make sure that it's kind of like surrounding your head and your hair is fully in there so that it can all get treated and the, hair, the smell won't be as bad. I do that also so it doesn't transfer it into anything else. It'll be inside my shower cap and that's all I have to worry about. The next part is actually waiting. I will actually let it sit. I have very, very low porosity hair. It means uh, it takes a while for water to even saturate my hair to get it wet. And when it comes to drying, it, for, if I let it, my hair air dry, which I do every day, um, or every time I wash my hair, it takes about, let's see, I take my shower around 7 a.m and it's not dry, I don't scrunch out the crunch until like 12 or one. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So five to six hours, it's actually fully completely dry. That's how low porosity my hair is. It really doesn't take in the moisture and when it does, it doesn't let it out. Um, even though my hair is bleached and they say that your hair becomes um, more porous or more porosity, it's really still um, low porosity. And that comes to the timing as well. So for my hair, for my situation, I leave it on my hair in the shower cap for about an hour to an hour and a half. And that seems like a really long time, but that's just my hair will not do anything. And as you can see in some of the um, photos that I'm gonna put up, that I still have a little bit of brassiness and a little bit of the hair, and some of pieces are more bleached, and they will take on more of that purpley tone, but that purple tone will fall out in a couple of washes. You don't have to worry about your hair turning purple. If it comes to your hair, you want to sort of test out the waters on it. You may leave it on for a half an hour and just maybe check a section and see if it's 
worked for you, maybe check it out after 45 minutes to an hour. I mean, you have to test it out with your hair because everyone's so different um, with their porosity. So after sitting in your shower cap for an hour to an hour and a half, you're gonna shower everything out. So there is gonna be purple uh, coming out for a little bit just because you do saturate it so much, but there shouldn't be any purple left in your hair after you're done washing it out. Once the purple shampoo is completely out of your hair, I like to deep treat my hair because it is curly. I want to give a little love back to it. It's been dried out a lot. Um, so my favorite go-to has been this apple cider vinegar hair mask by DB Hue. I love it because it's more like a paste. Um, it's very thick and it just really coats the hair nicely. So I'm gonna do this over my entire head and I'm gonna focus on the ends more because it's the bleached part. So I'm really gonna focus here, but I'm still gonna go to my scalp. Um, you really don't need a lot of this and it's great because it's not a sticky substance. It's more of like a paste, like I said, but it just really, really repairs and conditions the hair. So when you come out, you feel like your hair is normal again. You don't feel like it's been sitting, you know, when your hair was first bleached, it kind of feels rough. Um, or when you're with shampoo, I don't use shampoo very often, uh, but when I do, I'll use this deep conditioner because it just feels so soft and it makes your curls come back to life and you don't feel like anything is building up in your hair at all. For the apple cider vinegar mask, I'll leave it on for about five to 10 minutes. Um, I like to let it sit up in my hair and while the steam of the shower is happening, I feel like it opens up my uh, my hair follicles and kind of just really saturate it. So I'll just do my regular shower routine for about five to 10 minutes, depending on what I'm doing. Um, and then you can rinse it out completely um, for there. Then you can do whatever your shower routine is, put in your products or you get out of the shower, whatever you're doing that day. Um, when I do my uh, treatment with my purple shampoo and my hair mask. I like to do it on days where I'm really not going to do much. I really like to let my hair settle and I want, I'll put in like a leave-in conditioner and then I'll sort of braid it or keep it down and just not really do much with my hair. Um, you definitely don't want to heat treat it. You don't want to do anything that's going to hurt your hair because you've already put it through so much um, with the purple shampoo and then the deep conditioner. You totally can do anything you want. I'm just saying from a curly girl's perspective, you don't want to do a lot with your hair right after you just treated it. Um, so I like to let it sit and just do its own thing for the rest of the day. And then the next day, um, like today, I will put in my product and let it air dry. And this is the end product. So that is my full way of getting the brassiness and yellow tones out of my hair. I put a purple shampoo on my dry hair for about an hour to an hour and a half. I rinse it out. I put in my um, apple cider vinegar hair mask for about five to 10 minutes, rinse it out, and then I'm done. And this is my end product. You know, my curls aren't dying for moisture and they don't feel dry, they feel very normal. Um, and the color turns out awesome. And I do this maybe every two to three months when I start to feel like the yellowness in my hair is really overtaken. You like over time you'll you'll notice it, but you really don't think it's that bad. And then you're like, oh my gosh, it got real bad overnight. And this is a really easy, really inexpensive way to get the brassiness out of your hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope it was helpful for you in any way. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click it down below. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!